This video shows you how to rewire your DC operated lights so that they'll come on automatically when you open your closet door. This is the light that we'll rewire today. Originally it came with a wall mounted switch that used radio waves to turn on and off the light. This is a bad idea for two reasons. The first is the power supply is small AA batteries. These batteries have to power the receiver inside the light 24 hours a day. I found my batteries going bad after about two weeks. The other reason? It's really easy to forget to turn the lights off after you've closed the door. Well, here's my solution. Have the lights turn themselves on and off automatically as you open and close the door. Here's how we're going to do this. We're going to modify the control switch on the actual light itself. Now this RF position turns on the radio receiver inside the light, and it allows this remote switch to work. We don't want to mess with that. What we will do is add an extra circuit to the on position of the switch, right here. Let me spend a few seconds explaining how this switch works. Moving the switch to the RF position provides power from the batteries to the receiver. Then after receiving a command from the remote switch, the receiver turns the lights on. The on position, however, will provide power directly from the batteries to the light bulbs themselves. What we're going to do is install a switch right here, and then control that switch remotely. When it is opened, power is removed from the light bulbs even though the original on-off switch is still on. Okay, that's enough theory. Let's get started. First, take the case off the light. Then remove the batteries. Remove the screws that are holding the circuit board in place. And carefully remove it. Don't pull any of the wires off of it. This is what the switch operation looks like. Moving the switch left or right will connect the center post to either the left or right post. To figure out which wire we have to modify, move the power switch to on. Now look at the post directly above the word on. It's a red wire. To verify it's correct, run for continuity between the center post and the red wire. You see we have 0.7 ohms. That's good. To do a double check, I'm moving the switch to the RF position. Then recheck those same two wires. You'll see that you no longer have good continuity. But if I move between the center post and the RF position, we do have continuity. So the switch is working exactly the way it should. Now, let's desolder the red wire off of the switch terminal. Okay, that was pretty easy. Now I drill a hole into the light case so I can route two brand new wires. These will be the wires that goes from that on-off switch out to the read switch. Go ahead and route your wires through that little hole into the light. Slip a piece of heat shrink onto one of the wires. I'll show you what we need this for later. The wire you don't have the heat shrink on. Solder onto the post that you removed the original red wire off of. Then solder the other wire onto the end of the red wire. This is what it'll look like when you're done. Here's your post wire. And the wire you soldered onto the red wire. Notice I show a schematic of where each of the wires is hooked up as well. Remember that heat shrink? Shrink it down over that exposed joint where you soldered the two wires together. You need to insulate it. Well, that's it. You're done doing all the work you need to do on the inside of the light. Go ahead and reinstall the circuit board. Put the batteries back in and close the case back up. You want to check out your handiwork up to this point? Ensure the on RF switch is set to on. Then touch the two wires together. Hey look, it works. We're almost there. One last step. You need to connect those two wires to this read switch. This is the same switch you use in your doors and windows in a home alarm system. I may order these in from this uh, internet company and they cost a couple bucks a piece. Maybe about three. There are three terminals on each switch. You have your common, which will always have a wire on it. It can be either normally closed or normally open. Now the closed or open is in reference to when the other part of the switch, which is a magnet, is up close to it. Let me show you how it works. I've hooked my meter leads up to common and normally open. When the two switch parts are next to each other, you have a normally open circuit. Move them apart, it goes to a short. So half the switch on the door frame, the other half on the door. When the door opens, the switch closes and the light will turn on. There you have it. Hook one wire to normally open and the other wire to common. It makes no difference what order. Mount it in your closet and you now have an operational remotely controlled light. 
I mounted one on the floor for the shoes and one on the ceiling for the jackets and such and I have plenty of light every time I open the door. Thanks for watching.